Hello class, this is our lecture about the introduction of Placius Clapeyron and phase diagrams. For the phase diagrams of the water and carbon dioxide, we will discuss those two phase diagrams for this class. And by the way, this PowerPoint is not mine. Uh, it is downloaded on the internet. And if you wish to download the PowerPoint, just click the link below of this video. And this PowerPoint is based from the book of Chemistry, the Central Science, 10th edition by Tudor Brown, Eugene Mimi Jr., and Bruce E. Bursten, the chapter 11 of intermolecular forces, uh, liquids, and solids. But in this discussion, we will jump to the slide number 38, since we are only talking about the closest criteria equation and the phase diagrams. Just an introduction of phase diagrams, which is the phase diagram of water and carbon dioxide. Okay. So first, before we discuss the the clausius clapeyron equation, we just need to discuss first the vapor pressure. So what is a vapor pressure? It is the pressure exerted by the gas from the liquid by which uh, condensation and vaporization occurs in a closed container, just like this one. As you can see here, that the gas exert exerted here, here, ayan, so the pressure of the gas is equal to the equilibrium vapor pressure because the more molecules exit the liquid, so the pressure they exert increases. So the more uh, liquid vapor vaporizes at a given temperature, of course, the more pressure they exert it. And uh, the system will uh, reach the state of dynamic equilibrium when the liquid molecules evaporate and the vapor molecules condensate, condense at the same rate. So it is a vaporization and condensation uh, at the same rate. So it is the state of dynamic equilibrium. So by which you can see here, uh, since we're talking about the vapor pressure, it is also related, uh, it is related actually to the boiling point of the liquid. So what is the boiling point of the liquid? Uh, alam nyo naman yan, di ba? Kapag nagpapalakapaulukan ng tubig, kapag kumulukan ng tubig, ng tubig, syempre, in some languages, sinasabi na, uy, na-reach na ng water yung boiling point niya kasi kumuulo na yung tubig natin, di ba? Kapag nagtitin pa kayo ng ape. So ano bang definition ng boiling point? So ayun, uh, as stated here naman, the boiling point of liquid is the temperature at which the vapor pressure is equal to the atmospheric pressure. So the vapor pressure of the liquid is equal to the atmospheric pressure, the pressure from the surroundings. Kaya ako napapansin nyo, yun ay kumukulo. And as you can see here, the normal boiling point uh, is the temperature at which its vapor pressure is uh, 760 tor torricelli or 1 atm. And as you can see here from this uh, diagram, na from the ayaw yung y-axis natin it has a uh, temperature versus uh, vapor pressure which is torricelli and as you can see here the boiling point of water when it reaches a uh, uh, one atmospheric pressure or 760 torricelli 100 degree, degree Celsius yung boiling point niya and for the ethyl alcohol it is 78.3 degree Celsius and the ethyl ether is 34.6 so ano ba bakit ba discuss tong vapor pressure na to Kasi nga, dito na related yung ating clausius clapeyron equation. So what is the clausius clapeyron equation, sir? Ano bang significance niya? Kasi nga, we are obtaining, we want to obtain the vaporization, uh, the enthalpy of vaporization of that liquid. So how do we determine? So we use the clausius clapeyron equation. But how? We are going to manipulate the data points that we are going to plot in our graph. Now, here, as you can see here, yung, pa natin, yung point natin dito is uh, uh, exponential siya. Kung makapansin nyo naman, or uh, logarithmic yan, I think. Kung makapansin nyo, na-express siya in terms of Torricelli and temperature. But, ito yung y-axis and x-axis. But, dito sa Miklausius Clapeyron equation, kung makapansin nyo, yung y-axis natin, it is the natural logarithm of pressure and reciprocal of temperature expressed in Kelvin. Dito naman, syempre, it is ATM. And syempre, ang slope natin, as you can see here, okay, magpa na tayo dito. Okay, uh, let's have a thing here. Para mas ma-discuss natin siya ng mas luigi. And kung mapapansin nyo naman, guys, uh, ayan, yung ating graph natin here. As you can see here, we have this slope which is, syempre, yung slope natin has a negative value or negative m. 
by which syempre, ayan, ito yung ating equation, the ln of p, which is the y, kasi nga nasa na y-axis, and equals to negative delta h bap or the enthalpy of the precision all over r, which is the gas constant, over t plus c constant. Ngayon, ang slope down natin is the negative delta h over r. So, we have this equation na ln of p is equals to negative delta h over r. Ayan. So, we have to enclose this one. And the x-axis is the reciprocal of temperature, the c. So, this one is the y, this one is the m, and this one is the x. And this one, of course, our y-intercept for us to form the y is equals to mx plus b, which is, alam naman natin yan, it is a linear equation. But sir, sinabi niyo ano na doon. But using this clausius clapeyeron graph, uh, madedetermine na natin yung enthalpy of the precision. But how? Okay, uh, we have a series of data. Uh, actually, hindi nga pag-probay ng example for this one. Let's suppose that we have a temperature and pressure given for a specific liquid and we have this data. And then, syempre, ito, itong mga ito, ipa-plot ko siya, of course, not as this. Kasi, but kapag yan yung ginamit ninyo, maka-obtain kayo ng graph ko dito. Hindi tayo maka-obtain ng equation. But rather, you have to manipulate the data in a way that it will obey the clausius clapeyron So, you will plot in the x-axis yung reciprocal of P and then the ln of P. Then, tsaka nyo lang siya pa-plot. Then, you will obtain a linear equation. By which, of course, syempre, di ba, as you plot, maka-obtain kayo ng ng uh, equation of the line, the diba? equation of the line, which is yun nga, maka-obtain kayo ng negative slope. So from this data, maka-obtain kayo here, the diba? you will know that the slope here is equals to negative delta H over R. So negative delta H over R, ayan. So syempre, uh, crisscross multiplication, you will obtain the delta H of vaporization is equals to negative the slope or the M times R. So what is the value of R? R is a gas constant which has a value of 8.314 joules per mole Kelvin. And syempre, once you plot the data using linear regression analysis, you will obtain some values here, imumultiply nyo na, and you will get the value for the enthalpy of vaporization for that certain liquid. But uh, again, uh, I can't provide an example because this is done an introduction for the concept of the glaciers the Clapeyron equation. Okay? Okay, next naman natin. Okay, so we're done with the clausius Clapeyron equation in regards to the uh, vapor pressure and the relationship of temperature and pressure of a liquid the normal boil. Point. Now let's go at the phase diagram. It is again the relationship of the pressure and temperature of a certain liquid but we have to consider the states of matter that they are going in. Let's say, for example, of the space diagram of this a liquid vapor interface and solids. So it is the y-axis, if you pressure not. I, I don't know what the unit is. And then we have this temperature. And then as you can see here, the point at the certain temperature, ayan, and at certain pressure, the state of our liquid will be solid at a specified value of pressure and temperature. The states of our uh, substance, I shall say, para mas maging specific tayo or general, or in general, siya ay nasa solid. And then at this point here, mapansin ninyo, uh, nagkaaroon tayo dito ng sublimation to disposition for the uh, conversion of solid to gas or gas to solid. Okay, but this is scope naman dito. At A to B, at, at stated here, dito tayo nagkaaroon ng vaporization and condensation at the same time of a liquid at specified value of pressure and temperature. Now, pupunta naman tayo dito, it ends at a point, critical point B. Above this, yung above niyan, it is the critical temperature and critical pressure, which is the liquid and vapor. Hindi nyo na siya mati-distinguish kung anong states of matter, no substance that they are in. So, we have this. So, ayan. And, but from here, each point along this line is the boiling point. Depende yun, di ba? Depende yan kung let's say this pressure at the, uh, okay, let's go to the example na lang. Uh, when the temperature, this temperature, a certain temperature na tumugma doon sa may line, 
na one atmospheric pressure is syempre naman yun yung boiling point ng ating substance by which yun na nga ma-reach niya ito it's either of the point here dito sa may A to B na yan pero depende pa rin so yun yung boiling point natin and then for this one here ang dinis natin dito is all about the line between the condensation and vaporization because we're talking about the liquid and gas steam. Dito naman is the interface between the liquid and solid, the point A to D, by which this one, syempre, uh, states of dynamic equilibrium again, by which the rate of the melting and freezing of the substance is, equal, uh, is at the same rate, by which, syempre, at specified pressure and temperature, yung magiging substance natin, it can be either liquid or solid, depending sa may, yun nga, sa may temperature and pressure. So, bago tayo doon, uh, dito naman here, dito naman, so kanina, uh, between solid and liquid, dito naman is between solid to gas. Same principle, uh, from the point A to C, at a specified temperature and pressure. So, at this point, dito sa may point na ito, ayan, of this graph, doon tayo nagka-arrow sa binisyon or pwede rin deposition at the same time. And pwede rin siya maging gas and solid. Okay? So, this is the typical example of a phase diagram. Napunta tayo sa may phase diagram of water. So, this is the water natin. Diba? Now, let's interpret this one. So, punta na agad tayo dito. Ito. The letter A, of course, is ito yung tinatang na point A is the triple point. So, sir, what is the tripod, tripod point? Ang uh, tripod point, by definition, is the existence of three states of matter at the same temperature and pressure at the same time at the same rate. Mapapansin ninyo, at 4.58 Torricelli and at 0.098 degrees Celsius, yung water natin are in the three states of matter at the same time. Uh, Siya ay solid, liquid, and gas at the same time. Ayan, so at the, on natin, yan, the water. And then let's interpret again, thoroughly ulit, here at the point B. Dito naman tayo nagkaaroon ng melting. Siyempre, di ba, at 180N, di ba, we all know that the freezing point of water is 0 degrees Celsius. Na kung saan, the melting and freezing is exist at the same time na dynamic equilibrium. So it can be either ice or liquid. Now, at the point C, dito na mag yung ating uh, normal boiling point. Di ba? Dito na mag boiling point. Because na-reach na natin yung atmospheric pressure of water at 100 degrees Celsius. Familiar naman tayo dyan that the boiling point of water is 100 degrees Celsius. Ayan. So here, at 100 degrees Celsius, ma-convert na siya into mag na tayo ng vaporization process and condensation process. And then, syempre, we all know, kapag tinaas mo yung temperature ng water natin, uh, it will go at a gaseous state. Kapag naubos na yung tubig natin, ah, puro gaseous state na siya at one atmospheric pressure at higher temperature. Pero kapag one atmospheric pressure and at uh, lesser than 100 degrees Celsius yung temperature ng water natin at one atmospheric pressure, siya ay nasa liquid state. So, mga ganon. And then also here, kung as you can see from this point, ah, hanap tayo ng ito. Ayan, at, at D naman, at 280 m, doon na yung critical point natin by which the states of the liquid and gas is undistinguishable. So this is again the typical graph for the carbon dioxide, uh, same interpretation lang din. So the point X is the triple point by which the solid, liquid, and gas exist at the same time in the equilibrium. Uh, the point Y, this one, is a sublimation and deposition equilibrium. And then yung boiling point ng ating H2O, wala kasi yung, yung andito, uh, boiling point of H2O, here, uh, okay, it's not specified here. So uh, kanina na lang natin dito, let's interpret it further. At the point C, our, or 7, 73 atmospheric pressure and 31.1 Celsius, dun na yung critical point niya by which the liquid and the gas is undistinguishable. Okay? So ganyan yung phase diagram ng carbon dioxide natin. Ayan, so here for the one. So this is just a interpretation of phase diagram here. 
and uh, ma-interpret naman natin to for this example okay at point 1 syempre the uh, our substance exists only in a gas phase dito at point 2 it is sublimation and deposition at point 3 ang state ng substance natin states of matter is solid at point 4 syempre it is solid and liquid so boundary It is a freezing and melting equilibrium. So either of that. At point 5, syempre, yung ating substance natin is in the phase of a liquid, liquid space of matter. Okay, at point 6, okay, at this pressure and temperature naman, at this fixed uh, pressure and temperature, at point 6, solid lang siya. So hindi na aspect pa yung value dito, so uh, hindi na we can determine it. We just need to interpret the phases of matter of what this substance is going in based on the point in the phase diagram. Okay, so here uh, at point seven, dito naman it is in a liquid state. At point eight, this is where the vaporization and condensa condensation, or dito na yung ating normal boiling point. Bakit kasi nga narich natin yung atmospheric pressure. So kung ano man yung temperature nito, yan yung panatay. So it is ito pala, it's the phase diagram of water. So, ito pala. So, I, uh, uh, sorry for that if I hadn't noticed earlier. For that. So, at point 9, so our water is in a gaseous state. So, that's how you interpret a phase diagram. Pero, syempre, this is just a basic approach. Meron pa tayong mas komplikado dyan. What if we combine the two substances? Let's say the water and carbon dioxide pina pinag-mix natin. Ano yung magiging picture ng phase diagram nila? Which one is in the solid state, a liquid state, in gaseous state? So that's the question in sa may na yun, sa may higher chemistry. As again, the scope of our discussion for today is just an introduction of the phase diagram in clausius Capiron equation. So if you have any questions with regards to this topic, I will enrich it from my email. Or ask questions na lang, depende sa may YouTube niyo. So here are just my uh, discussion for this lecture. And actually, ang chapter 11 ng book ng book na ito for the MS Central Science, I broad topic because it talks about the uh, intermolecular forces uh, of liquids and solids. But again, it's just an introduction. So uh, sorry for that. And if you have any questions again, uh, just kindly feel free to email me. Yon. So thank you very much for listening, guys. And I hope you learned something and goodbye.